Today in the crypto space, we see in the market coming down to lower levels, Bitcoin right around that $60,000 mark, and Ethereum falling below $3,000, down approximately 6%. The rest of the crypto space, the altcoins, are deep in a fire sale. The question is, should we be buying or waiting for lower levels? In today's video, I want to talk about the general market. I want to use Bitcoin as a leading indicator, but more importantly, I want to talk about one project, one project that is looking really interesting, and a lot of people are talking about it, and it's called ISP. So you know what let's talk about the news let's analyze the charts and let's strategize to capitalize welcome to the channel my name is mike and let's get right into it guys if you're new to the channel welcome welcome on the channel we talk about cryptocurrency bitcoin ethereum and all the altcoins looking for opportunities whether we go up or down bearish or bullish it doesn't matter all we want to do is stay one step ahead of the market so that we can capitalize on any of the volatility and if you appreciate the strategy subscribe to the channel click the bell so you don't miss out on any of my future videos including the live streams at 7 30 eastern where we talk about crypto news and price action guys if you have any projects you want me to cover here on the channel feel free to let me know in the comment section below you can hit me up on the socials the links are in the description better yet guys join the discord the discord is where it's at lots of good alpha trade setups fundamentals and learning material and the best part is it's absolutely free all right guys let's begin let's see what's going on with this market guys obviously it's deep in the red as we speak we see the market coming down bitcoin ethereum and all the altcoins are coming down to those lower levels and of course the question is are we coming down much much more how much more could we expect the reality is even if we do get a continuation to the downside after a while we're going to expect a bit of relief to the upside we're going to expect some sort of relief some sort of retracement some sort of bullish response before we continue going down now we are coming down we can see that bitcoin coming down 10 percent in the last seven days and ethereum another nine percent and so on does you know kind of justify a bit of short-term relief now is it going to happen now bitcoin is you know exiting its structure we talk about bitcoin structure for the last little while and of course as it breaks its structure we could anticipate a further continuation not to the upside but maybe to the downside and this is one thing that we need to be prepared for because if bitcoin breaks to the downside we will get fire sale opportunities further fire fire sale opportunities much redder price action than we are right now all right guys let's so let's quickly you know skim through this um, and then we'll take a look at Bitcoin. We'll take a look at ISP. Um, that's the ticker. Um, and eventually what we'll do is we'll come up with a plan. We'll come up with a strategy here. And of course, join me live tonight at 7.30 Eastern where we talk about crypto news and price action. And it's a great time and place for you to make any requests, to make requests on any projects that you're interested in. All right, let's move on. Let's see what's going on here. I um, Solana coming down. And I guess, guys, you know, you can see that a lot of these, these projects are coming down to lower levels. Right now we're down approximately, I would say 5 to 10% on average we have polka dot we got chain link we got near protocol bullish bullish project polygon matic coming down we have uniswap and if you missed your entries on big projects like stacks or even filecoin is you know coming down four percent we have render render guys if you missed your entries on renders renders at seven dollars guys renders at right now down 22 percent in seven days that's a great opportunity opportunity v chain coming down eight percent caspa's down another two and a half percent but caspa generally you can see that it's holding up really you know two and a half percent is probably the, the 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 smallest dip that we can see right here so not bad not bad big tents are down six percent big tents are down guys tau is coming down 25 26 percent in seven days we're in a fire sale opportunity right and of course a lot of us are thinking could we come down further the best advice that i'm going to give obviously this is not financial advice this is advice in general what we do have to understand is that don't try to pick the bottom right picking the bottom trying to catch the bottom is very very dangerous a great strategy is one of which you reduce your risk risk in both ways both bullish and bearish risk in this sense trying to catch the bottom is risky because you don't know when the price is actually going to stop and hold its bottom and in that case the best thing to do would be to dca slowly in dollar cost average but better yet wait for some structure wait for some stru structure to suggest that we are getting support as we make these lower lows throughout the market and lower highs and the breaking of structure to the downside 
What we want is another structure to be built. And that will take time, guys. And it could be that it takes a long time. It could be that it takes months. In fact, it could take the entire summer. And it's very in tune with the narrative of, you know, again, sell and mango away type of thing. And we have seen previous summers look a little bit dry. So that's the reality. Maybe we do get that opportunity to accumulate at lower levels, but sideways price action will give you a lot of time to accumulate, which is healthy, of course, very healthy. Uh, what else do we have here? We have dips across the market let's continue you know five percent ten percent phantom celestia down another 3.8 percent i did buy the dip on this thing but it's down a little bit more since my entry so maybe i'm gonna have to commit and buy in but i'm gonna wait for a little bit more dip more a little bit more to the downside we have say i'm interested in building a position on sui sui's down 18 percent, guys making a lower low confirming the structure to the downside lower low lower highs the trend is your friend guys we could be coming down for a further dip the question is how low do we go on sui particularly that it's been hyped up quite a bit you know do we get sui um you know coming down to about a billion dollar market cap right now it's at about 1.4 billion which is you know quite mature but a retracement to lower levels you never know what could happen here we can get sui maybe closer to the billion dollar mark and then i'm interested then i'm interested so we'll see what happens with sui algorand you know algorand has been taking a bit of a beating in this bull rally hasn't really got its opportunity to shine it's definitely undervalued it definitely is looking for an opportunity to get a nice impulse to the upside so we got to keep an eye on that but the general market guys is down approximately five to ten percent you know me even leading into more on the ten percent side of things look at singularity we have um dydx coming down a lot of great projects right now are in a fire cell and i would be focused on uh, focusing on the dip on the seven days the reality is that some of the bigger dippers are right down here look beam jupiter guys remember when jupiter was untouchable you know when this when the solana narrative was hot look at this even bit tensor on fire you know h bar okay you know down 20 10 percent 25 percent overall floki another good one that has been great gaining stacks based on the bitcoin narrative guys look at these opportunities akash i'm looking for that i'm looking for our weave where's our weave is it even here on this on the first page guys we have many great projects that we need to be looking at all right guys let's look at this into a little bit more detail let's take a look at bitcoin what is going on with bitcoin in the last little while bitcoin has been still within this flag and guys technically we're kind of still there we didn't break below at any previous lows so we got to understand we could still be in a retracement type of thing type of structure as you can see this flag is uh, corrective it is coming down slowly now do we make a slightly lower low it's very very possible but the question is do we actually break down and come down to about 52k guys let's look at this in a little bit more detail you know the thing is is that coming down to 52k psychologically emotionally of course and economically be prepared guys it could definitely happen we do not have much support below it, it, we could quick do a quick quick flush all the way down here get some port to on the 200 daily ema and get that nice bounce to the point that we come back right back to where we came from fair game very very possible momentum guys momentum right now is as you can see we're still grinding to the downside the probability is is that we come down to oversold conditions i know a lot of people might be looking at the previous low you know do we hold this low right now we're testing it do we hold it like we've done in the past not get completely oversold guys this is the problem here now there's a risk right if you get in at this current moment we, yes we're testing this previous low but what about if we get oversold like come down to oversold conditions below the 30 percent mark like we have done here and if we do do that and we come down to those levels expect a further dip expect a deeper uh, red price action and that would give you a better opportunity at lower levels of course if you're looking to accumulate on the cheap but at the current moment all we really have is this low and we see that the volatility is pushing down in the same direction as the momentum. The expansion, you know, it was looking like it was going to taper off. It opened up again. It looks like it's coming down again. And we're getting a lot of confluence here on the indicator suggesting, look, the confluence is to the downside. Many, many red dots beginning from this level saying, look, expect further continuation down guys get oversold that could be a good opportunity show signs of bullish divergence show signs that the bulls are ready to come back in and then i'm interested trend wise look at this ema is facing down look at the fake out we got a little bit of an ema cross i remember that happening and then all of a sudden the emas opened up again and we can see that look 
um you know the histogram bars are nice and red and obviously the trend expansion to the upside is very small there's a there's a purple um expansion we're going to probably get into a light purple phase where we start coming down and done we're in the bearish control zone guys as you can see the trend is in a bearish side of things and the strength right now is, is in in favor of the bears unfortunately this bearish divergence really did a number on the price action and luckily we had the signal to give us that you know scenario let's move on guys i know you want to talk about the chart of today let's take a look at what it is first because it's a newer project a lot of people are talking about it's called isp isp o link ispo link looking pretty good ecosystem of ai and gaming products guys if you kind of scroll down you can kind of get an idea of what it's all about welcome to ispo verse basically it's a metaverse gamification metaverse offices unique branding career fairs nft galleries and rewarding games basically it's like an online environment for employers and employees to create this virtual space. You can see that this dude is walking around in different environments, going to Adidas, Amazon, and many different um, booths that belong to different um, you know, companies. Get your metaverse office, basically. So pretty interesting. You know, metaverse kind of um, you know, got a little bit, um, it died down a little bit, but the gaming aspect of things, and of course the AI aspect of things, learn more about their AI tech, could be super, super bullish. So not bad. Not bad of a scenario. Let's move on. Let's take a look at the price action. Now, if you look at what's been happening in the market and you kind of look at what has been happening to the ISP chart, you know, it's it's not a surprise. We saw, we've seen that the market is falling. Now, the question is, if Bitcoin falls and continues breaking down, gets to about 52, where is the price going to go? It's very likely that it's going to test this, this 200 daily EMA back to the bottom of the volume gap, back to the previous high right here and test that zone and see this momentum get oversold. That would be the opportunity, guys. Every time we come down to these levels, this is usually where we see the majority of the dip. And that's where we see the ending of that dip because the bears give it all they have. And then all of a sudden we get a bullish response especially after a bit of a confirmation of bullish divergence a change of character in the structure because as of now we're making lower lows and lower highs and we can see at the current moment this price action right here could be quite bullish given the fact that it is a higher low now if we come up and make that higher high we're potentially pivoting to the upside and based on the fact that a lot of people are talking about ice pull link at the, at, you know in the immediate short term it could be that maybe this thing goes sideways and neutralizes the negativity i still feel like at about 0 0.002 that would be a great opportunity to dca and if looking at lower levels you know just keep Keeping that in mind, we got other highs right around this level that could act, actually act as support. We don't have much other other zones to be interested in. The reality is, is that we got a huge volume spike right here, lots of market participation suggesting accumulation, and there's going to be a wall of of a market participation right here acting as support as we enter this area. As you can see, the volume does pick up. So the next area to watch out for for me would be right around here, 0 0.0014. Why? Because that's where the thick of things begin. That's where the the majority of it begins guys right we, we slowly pick up after this level we have the 200 daily but you can see that the, the the majority of the supply and demand actually picks up into this level and i would be willing to take a bit more risk at the in this zone no more than that guys obviously after that be very careful because it's like trying to catch a falling knife i would like to see some confirmations that we're holding a base price that a nice floor price is being formed let's get a nice w let's get a nice a sign of bullish divergence let's stick on larger time frames guys because sometimes getting to lower time frames can be a bit tricky however it's all about risk to reward even if you get into lower time frames it's all about risk to reward make sure those setups are solid because at this current moment there's a bias to the downside in the market guys the bias is to the downside look at the trend although we did get a nice bullish divergence you know and it, it's sorry a nice red dot uh, green dot right here and it could be eventually get us a, a divergence this green dot is not enough to suggest that we're getting confluence to the upside there is a bit of divergence happening as the price action comes down with these clusters of histogram bars but the trend expansions guys the trend waves to the upside look at it it's now 
you know, light purple, suggesting that it's over, suggesting that it might start rolling over and coming down to much lower levels. Every time we go from dark to light in either direction, dark purple uh, to light purple or blue, uh, dark blue to light blue, we generally get those confirmations for a pivot to the upside. So I am not comfortable looking at this at this current moment as a long position unless we get a little bit more confirmations out of Bitcoin, because if Bitcoin keeps on dipping, this thing is going to come down and we'll be able to pack our bags at lower levels. Guys, that's what I got for you today. Obviously, if um, you found any value in the video, do the channel a massive favor, slap the like button. And of course, if you have any other projects you want me to cover, feel free to join the live stream tonight at 730 Eastern and the Discord, guys. Join the Discord. The Discord is where it's at. Lots of good alpha, trade setups, fundamentals, and learning material. Take care, guys. Have a good one. And don't forget, buy the dip.